I think we'll get started. So um, thank you everyone for joining us today and welcome. Um, I'm Jenny Neal, I'm a member of the LMA Claims team and today we're going to talk to you about the launch of two new claims job simulations with Forage, an initiative to promote and build awareness of claims as a career. So I'm joined today by Tom Hughes from the IUA. Um, this is a cross association initiative, um, which has also been supported by the London Market Group. Um, unfortunately, we're um, missing um, Joe Shaw from the IUA and Jonathan Purser from the LMG today. But I do want to give them a mention because they have been instrumental in getting these programmes launched, along with a small group of market participants. Today, we're going to introduce you to the forage job simulations, talk about what we've done and importantly, why we've done it. And then we're going to spend some time talking about how you can leverage these from within your business. So a bit of background to get us started. Claims talent um, is a focus area across the market. And for us at the LMA, it's one of the pillars of our claims strategy. It's been a priority of the LMA Claims Committee, and last year they tasked the Next Gen Claims Group to engage with the market to try to better understand and articulate some of the issues that were being faced. So the Next Gen Claims Group carried out a significant amount of research. They engaged across sector groups with heads of claims and directly with students, and they reviewed all of the existing research and initiatives within the market through a claims lens. Their work concluded that there were genuine concerns about claims talent in the market, and that's in terms of attracting people in, protecting and building core skills to help us address talent gaps or skills gaps and building skills for the future. Positively, they also found that there's a really strong appetite from the claims community to respond collectively across the market. And this is where we started to engage across the associations and we very quickly realised the benefit of working together on this one. So I'm joined by Tom um, and hopefully he'll provide a few perspectives from his members. Yeah, happy to do so, Jenny, and, and very pleased to join the session. And it's certainly a similar story from our members' perspective. So within the IUA community, we have lots of long-standing class of business claims committees. So that could be in the in the aviation space, casualty, financial professional lines, contingency, to name a few. And there are a vast number of very, very skilled people across those claims communities who are, of course, enjoying very fulfilling claims careers. Now, those individuals tended to have similar objectives, irrespective of the classes of business that they were engaged in. Now, those objectives, themes, work streams that they had in mind, the real common thread was attracting, training and retaining claims talent. So at that point, we formed our claims strategy committee made up of heads of claims representatives and began immersing ourselves in projects a little bit like this one um, with Jenny and the team at the LMA. So Forage is one initiative in this space um, and um, it's really designed to primarily address the need to promote claims as a career destination. So who are the Forage? Well, the Forage are known as a massive online open course provider. Um, they build and host day in the life job simulations to help companies attract and convert high quality, diverse early careers candidates. They already have a good footing in the banking and financial services sector, but they only have a couple of partners in the insurance space. So we've really seen this as an opportunity to get in there early. They currently have a base of around 6 million students enrolled globally on their platform. And that gives us a reach into students who are considering their career options at a scale that we think would be hard for us to achieve through other means alone. So things like university outreach or insight days. The forage also responds well to some of those challenges that were identified through our research. So we know that um, awareness of claims as a career is generally low and that claims does not always feature when we promote um, the insurance industry more generally. So through the forage, we can specifically target claims with these jobs simulations. 
And when we looked at other providers in this space, they tended to offer more skills based programs. So the forage is different and it means that we can immerse people in the role of claims specifically. We also know that we do find it hard to talk about what we do and that we have a tendency to be overly complex, um, specifically with our language. So we've used this as an opportunity to look at the language we use, which we've done again across the association. So LMA, IUA, LIBA and LMG. And we brought in support from a copywriter to ensure that we're talking about claims in a way that's going to resonate with the intended audience. And really to help them understand the type of attributes that the market are looking for in these roles. So for us, this is really about bringing the value of claims and insurance to the fore um, and in a way that we believe will appeal to those individuals who are looking at their career choices. Forage talk about themselves as a train then hire model or pre-skilling. Um, so these programmes are designed to give individuals enough insight into the roles that they can make an informed decision about whether this is a career that they're interested in. And hopefully that means that if they choose to apply for these roles, um, that they're motivated candidates, they've invested time and they have a good understanding of the role and have considered whether their attributes and interests match the job. And I guess um, finally, but very importantly, diversity and inclusion sits at the heart of all of the talent work that we do in the market. So choosing a partner who provides free access to students was important to us. Many other providers in this space are subscription based models, which can form a barrier to participation. The forage puts the cost on the organisation. So here, that's the LMA and the IUA who have jointly funded this for two years. OK, yeah, we'll look at the, the key question now. What are the job simulations? It's probably fair to say that we've all been very, very excited about this one, getting it all up and running and then over the line. And, and Jenny's done a huge amount of work to, um, to to lead us there. So thank you, Jenny. Now, the question that all of our members are asking us is so what exactly is this all about? And the simulations themselves are designed to give graduates, school leavers, sixth form leavers, the opportunity to have a taste of work across different roles. It's a couple of hours to dip their toe into the water before we hope they decide to dive headfirst into a career in claims. We thought when we were designing these modules, who better to help us promote claims as a career than, than actually bringing together claims experts from across the Lloyds and company market communities. And that's why we had the cross market working group that Jenny mentioned a moment ago. Now, the simulations themselves, they are for two key claims roles, and we will come on to those. They're hosted on the Forage website. Importantly, they are free to all. So you sign up to Forage and then you have access to all of these various simulations. So that means there's absolutely no barriers to participation. Um, and, and obviously, who doesn't love a free training course? Now, alongside the benefits that we hope Will, will be provided to those taking the simulations. We identified that there are some benefits to prospective employers, so in insurance companies in the market. The simulations themselves, they positively encourage and promote skills like problem solving, curiosity, communication. They ensure that there's a client focused element, there's bits and pieces of data analysis for the operation side of things. So lots of really important skills that we hope the uh, the candidates will then put into good use when hopefully they find a role in the market. Now, the next question is, how exactly do they work? So the programme sits in the two to three hour mark. So it's a reasonable time investment for them to commit to, but it can be completed at their own pace and from absolutely anywhere, easy accessible on lots of different devices. The programmes, both of the modules follow the same format. So first we ground the individual in what is specialty insurance, and then we introduce and discuss claims as a career. And of course, what it means to work in claims and the value that those roles bring to the broader community. And 
when I had a look through the modules, I found it really helpful that videos are incorporated throughout. You get the chance to hear from practitioners already in roles in the market, and it will guide those participants through the exercises. They're given materials that support their tasks. They complete some mini quizzes as they go and are provided with model answers once they've submitted their own responses. And of course, that should help the learning process. So we'll take a look at the two key roles that we mentioned. So two different modules. The first is for the role of a London market claims adjuster, which I'm sure is very familiar to lots of people on this call. Now, in both programmes, they complete two overall tasks and they illustrate a day in the life of that specific role. So when we look at the claims adjuster, the first task is to review a first notice of loss on a claim and that follows the cancellation of a large music festival in the US. Then they'll consider how that claim fits with the terms and conditions of the policy, so the period, the limits, and actually if they need to at that point request any additional information. Then the second task, quite a different task, is to prepare for a client relationship meeting. So they'll identify and analyse trends in the claims report, having undertaken a review, and then they will present those findings and, of course, create a, a summary to be passed on. So that covers off the claims adjuster role. Now, just moving to the claims operations. So, again, two key tasks. The first one that they will complete is to review some information that relates to a claims management system, and that's a, a London insurance company. Now, they'll use that system and then consider how they can create a better claims management experience. Once they've completed that first task, the second one involves reviewing a data set that contains different claims performance metrics. And that again relates to the first notice of loss process. They'll then draft an email to their manager that will involve presenting the findings where that process might be falling short. Then they can suggest some targeted improvements to enhance the claims process. I know it seems like quite a lot to get through in just a couple of hours. Now, at the end of both of the modules, they will receive a certificate, which is, of course, very important recognition that they've completed that module. Then they'll be provided guidance on how to share their learnings through both their CV and, of course, tools like LinkedIn. And Jenny, I know, is now going to mention some of those really important next steps that can join the dots between these modules and hopefully a role in the market. Thanks, Tom. Um, what you may have noticed as we've gone through is that both of these programmes are branded as London Insurance Life. Um, this was a really important decision for us. So we really needed to make sure that we could guide students to a place where they can actually find job opportunities across the market. So one for the benefit of students, but also to make sure that we're benefiting the majority of our members through this initiative. So by directing students to London Insurance Life, they can find more information on claims as a career and all of that messaging there is consistent with the language that we use in these programmes. They can find um, claims profiles and most importantly, early careers jobs posted by the market. Um, Jonathan at LMG has also done a fantastic job of dead and created essentially a dedicated page for these programmes to sit on on London Insurance Life. So not only are we directing people from Forage to London Insurance Life, it also works the other way around. So London Insurance Life directing people to the Forage to complete these programmes. Just a little bit on some of the um, kind of additional benefits and insights that we can get from Forage. So um, in time, we'll benefit from data about the individuals who complete the courses and also what they think about them. So they have to score the courses and how much they learn from them them at the end of them. And that means that we can learn and adjust the programmes if needed as we go through these two years. And in the future, once it's a bit more embedded, we can do things like create talent um, pools to communicate out to students about opportunities in the market. So, for instance, if we have any career events going on or work experience opportunities related to claims or indeed more broadly, then we can share those through those talent pools. And we will also make sure that any um, entry roles 
four claims that are on London Insurance Life are also shown within the forage programmes. So again, this is a this is a two year partnership funded by the LMA and IUA, and the aim of the initiative really is to promote claims as a destination career, and in turn that should improve talent pipeline for claims and help attract a diverse pool of candidates. The type of data that we can get through forage is shown here on the slide on the left hand side, and we're going to track this regularly um, to see if we're meeting those aims. And we'd really love to hear from you as a market as well around any feedback that you have and over time the benefits that, we, you know, hopefully that you're going to see um, through the programme. So by way of an illustration, so um, we're seven days in. So this launched last Wednesday. Um, we've had 75 enrolments across the programme so far. We've had 32 individuals complete the programme. So that's 32 individuals investing kind of two, three hours of their time to learn about claims. And we've reached 27 different universities and schools. And you can have a, a, a small glimpse there at some of the kind of demographic data that we're able to capture as well. We've also started to see students post about the courses on LinkedIn, which I think is a really good indication that students themselves are finding them useful. Um, and we believe that the programmes will generate value just by being there and being accessible to students. But there are ways that the market can support and leverage them too. So here I've outlined um, some of the things that can be done to support this initiative. Today really is just about me kind of walking through them at a high level and highlighting them. Towards the end of this month or the beginning of November, we are going to share a pack out to our members, which provides more detail on how we can do some of this. So the first point really is to recognise the value of the job applicants who have completed a forage programme. So they have invested time, they've made, um, are likely to have made a pretty informed choice about applying for that role, and they're going to come along with a good base level of understanding. We would really strongly encourage you to post early career claims jobs on London Insurance Life. Um, we're purposefully channeling students there to look for those opportunities. So the more that are available, hopefully the more successful this will be in translating some of those through to hires. Um, you can feature these job simulations on your own career pages. So a bit like how London Insurance Life have done that already. Um, all of our members have the opportunity to do that as well. And the Forage have some great examples how other clients of theirs have done that really successfully. And again, we'll provide some information on, on how you can go about doing that. You can have a think about embedding some of this into your recruitment and application processes. So some very simple steps like on job advertisements, you could put a link um, onto the job advert. Say you might want to check this simulation out um, or when you're inviting individuals in for um, interviews, for example, you might again want to kind of promote it and say this might be some good background and um, work to do ahead of coming in to talk to you. More generally, just helping to promote this. So if you are um, doing promotion on social media about claims roles or any kind of early careers roles, you could take the opportunity to provide some links to the forage programmes and the same with any kind of outreach activities you do, whether that's bringing students um, into your firms or going out to universities or schools, um, you know, uh, kind of promoting this as a tool that they can use would be really helpful. And again, we're going to provide some collateral to support with that, some flyers and things with QR codes that you can leave and share with students. And then finally, just to stress the point again that these are free, they're open and they're accessible to all. So there's no reason why you can't use these internally within your own organisations. So, you know, you could see this as a tool to use as part of induction programmes for wider early careers cohorts, for example. So that's it. We're going to um, uh, have an opportunity now for questions. Just before we get on to that, um, I do want to say that we're really happy to keep this conversation going. So please do reach out 
um, to us. If over time you have questions or you want to know how some of this works, we are going to host a drop in session um, next week on the 23rd of October. That's a very informal come along if you've got questions or if you want to find out more. We'll be in one of the LMA meeting rooms from nine to 11 and just feel free to come along or have um, colleagues come along at any point during that time. Um, again, in the next few weeks, we will share a more detailed pack around ways to leverage this further. Um, and this video will be made available so that you can share it more broadly within your organisation if that's helpful. And then towards the end of the year, we do want to share some of that language work that we did collectively as associations. So we will try and produce some collateral to share um, what we think is pretty good work in that space around how we talk about claims in a more accessible um, way. So hopefully you found that helpful. Um, we're very happy to take any questions that you may know.